Live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the San Francisco Giants, the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. So the San Francisco Giants are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, it's Miles Michaelis. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Next offering is downstairs. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. And a count 2-1. And the right-hander deals. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just kept it simple, played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And digging in for San Francisco, Evan Longoria. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Right hander kicks deals. Ball two. two balls, no strikes to count. Two and oh. Popped up right side, Edmund. Sizing this one up, brings it in, and there's one down. Here's the Giants lineup. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits, and Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. Willie Mays at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. And the 1-0. To account, you really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. Kicks and fires. That one missed. You can talk metrics and all that stuff, but no matter what, I think Willie Mays is the greatest defensive center fielder the game's ever seen. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. And up next for the Giants, Willie McCovey. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. In there for strike one. And he'll one. That one misses. And one and one. The one one. Right side, hard hit. And that's just foul. The next pitch misses, 
And that's ball two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And now Orlando Cepeda. This guy has turned into a beast. On the ground, two ball. To second, that's one. And that's two. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Bottom of the first, stepping in, Ozzie Smith. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 1-0. Off the plate well, inside, the and that's ball three. There are hitters you love to watch hit, pitchers you love to watch pitch, but with Ozzie Smith, he was a player you love to watch field his position. A shortstop virtuoso. And a 3-0 finds his own. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Lestella throws to first in time. One up, one down. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. Singy, this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and, you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense, but make no mistake about it. Guys want to hit the ball hard, and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So, regardless of how dumb... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Irvin right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Batting third. The right fielder. Michael. Michael Lee. Lee digs in now. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Ground ball, left side. On to McCovey, inning over. And down in order go the Cardinals. We played an inning, no score. Second inning set to go. Now it's the second baseman, Tommy LaStella. San Francisco. The second baseman, Tommy LaStella. Michaelis back to work. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. O'Neill puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Batting seven, the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Here's Brandon Crawford, hitless in the series. He's 0 for 9. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And that's in there for strike one. Crawford checks his swing, appeal to third. He did not go around. No score here in the second. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Oh. Two up, two down. That is it. 
the right field and the five. Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski up here. In the air to left center, O'Neill gets under it and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Stan Usual. Singing you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed okay. off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Kicks and deals. No, and downstairs. Down. To measure what a force Stan the man was for the Cardinals, look at his first decade in the league. In those years, he won three MVP awards and finished second another three times. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the play. And now three and one. With Musial, it's the consistency that really sets him apart for me. He hit 300 or better in every one of his first 17 seasons in the bigs. And there's ball four. Ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's Nolan Arenado. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. Just got him on that one. That is good. The catcher. Yada yada. Molina. Now Molina at the plate. Obviously a guy who makes good contact. Hits for average. But one of the things in today's game. The value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. pitch there's a strike usual the runner at second with one away up the middle out on the off balance throw first of all that's just a nice job to even get to that ball and then even more impressive was the throw off balance had to try to in the air get his shoulders turned and make a strong throw does show off the strength of the arm we're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop here's paul goldschmidt and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And he deals. And it's even up. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a the ball. Two outs with a runner at third. That one in for a strike, two and two. The pitch. 
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Great effort. That's how bad he wanted that one. Head first dive. <laughs> and a pitch. Stays alive. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next offering misses. Full count now. Two outs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's Kirk Casale. Leading off for the Giants. The catcher, number two, Kirk Casale. Michaelis, back to work. Foul ball there. The 0-1. That to right. Lee pulls that one down. And there's one down. The left field, Monte and up next for San Francisco, Monty Irvin. Three for ten in the series so far. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Edmund over to pick it up. Fine play in the hole for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Evan Longoria, the next giant to hit. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first. That's out number three. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in St. Louis, and now Dylan Carlson. For the Cardinals, the center fielder, Dylan Carlson. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one the other way. Has some trouble with it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Batting up. The left fielder, Tyler Here's Tyler O'Neill. Fouled off left side. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. That misses. Now one and two. Carlson gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one fouled off. Next offering yep, misses. Now two and two. That one is absolutely belted way back there. 
Hauls it in on the warning track. The batter, number one, shortstop. Ozzie. Now up for St. Louis, Ozzie Smith. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On a line, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Tommy Edmond at the plate. That one's in there 0-1. One. one out. Runners at first and second. Next one misses, ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Here's a 1-1. Backed oh, off the plate that time. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Now this is in the air down the line. Yastrzemski makes the catch out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And up next for St. Louis, Michael Lee, ninth in the NL in hitting, entering play. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch is downstairs. Falling behind two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2-1. In for a strike. Two and two now. Two-two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. First and second. Two down. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And that will end the inning. So the card strand a couple. And we're still knotted at zero. set for the start of the inning and here is Willie Mays he's not going to get cheated up there no he's not he's looking to do damage with every swing he takes and first offering is fouled off swing and a pop up foul territory for the catcher Molina puts it away, one away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone the right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think really that velocity at the end McCarthy. just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Willie McCovey. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. There's the strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat.
Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now, Orlando Cepeda. First pitch, and he just misses. And here it comes. And the 1 0 misses low. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2 and 1. Two down, nobody on. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Carlson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Giants are down one, two, three, and we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, here's some real power at the plate. Stan Musial, he's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. The pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Yastrzemski makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Up next for the Cardinals, the third baseman, Nolan. Arenado. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. On the ground. On to McCovey. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Molina in the box now. No balls in a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at-bat to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. And that one's gone. He'll circle the bases, and the Cardinals have the lead now. It's 1-0. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate now batting, the designated hitter well they've kept him pretty quiet in this series still doesn't have a knock I know you want to get that first knock out of the way maybe more will come but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff they've had a great plan against it Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate. Now two balls and a strike. And a pitch. In for a strike. And that is strike two. There's a swing and a drive. Bangs off the wall. Not in time. It's a double. 
Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. So two down, Dylan Carlson now at the plate. Number three. In there, and it's 0-1. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Goldie at second with two down. Next ball pitch misses. Shot. One ball, one strike. That one ripped. That's a base hit. Here comes the runner. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Tommy LaStella. Tommy LaStella. The wind and the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. The Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Next pitch is in the dirt, and that is ball one. Line drive. O'Neill makes the grab, and yeah, there's one away. Up next to the guard, the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And up next for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. And first offering is fouled off. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 1-1. One -one. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away, and he dives back in time. Two one, runner on the goal. Next offering is foul back. Here's a two two. Stays alive. Righty delivers, and yeah, that's outside. At the belt and fires, and a foul ball. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. And now here is Kirk Casale. Ball one, no strike. The next offering misses. Ball two. Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. And the right hander deals. And that's in for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Next offering is fouled back. Three, two now. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. So the Giants leave one, and it remains 1 0. Back here at Bush Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. The left fielder, Tyler. The wind of the pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. And now the lefty. Good eye right there. The two one lined in the left center base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Ozzie Smith. Line drive, base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Now Anytime back. you rip Second a line drive hit. the other way, you feel Tommy. really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. He can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Got him. One out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just to pour it back. Here's a big power threat. Michael Lee. Oh, 
First offering, misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Throw to first, and he's back in standing. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Over to first, and he's saved. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. O'Neill, the runner at third. Smith at first, one gone. Foul ball. The 3 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Throw over to first. Smith back easily. The kick, the 3 2. Fouled off again, and it remains 3 and 2. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Yastrzemski drifts towards it. Two down. The first baseman, number six. Stan Usual. Usual getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First pitch, just misses. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Next offering is down low. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here in St. Louis. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Monty Irvin. The left fielder, number 20. The right hander back to work. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab one down. Now that third base, Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria, the next giant to hit. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. In the air, center field. Two away. The center fielder, number 24, Willie May. Now, here is Willie Mays. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about.
and a 1-0. And that one fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was a moonshot, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Willie McCovey will hit next. A strikeout and a walk. The first base is number 24. First offering, and it just misses. Counts 1-0. And the next pitch is way outside. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. All even at one apiece. Back here at the ballpark, now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Next one misses, and now 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And now a full count. We got a full count. Three, two. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's the catcher to hit. Yadier Molina, one for two. The other way, and a base hit right there. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Alex Wood is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back.
So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Anthony DiSclafani. He last pitched two days ago. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now the DH, Paul Goldschmidt. In there for strike one. Tap dances out of the way of that one. And a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Arenado at second. Molina at first with no outs. Hit slowly on the ground. Can't glove it cleanly. And he'll be safe at first. The center fielder, number three, Gillen. Base is loaded, nobody out. Now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Base is juiced, no outs. Next offering upstairs. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tyler Rogers preparing to come on if needed. Rebia getting loose as well. Right-handed reliever in there. And so now one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is downstairs. Bases loaded, nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. Two two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground to first, could be two. Feed to second, that's one. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Tyler O'Neill digs in now. Now batting. No left fielder. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. O'Neill. Runner at third, two away. Next pitch is outside. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. That one not close. Three balls and a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Three and two down. 
That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Sends it to first. That is the inning. We're through six full. It's the Cardinals two and the Giants one. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Orlando Cepeda. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Michaelis back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Bounce to the left side. Arenado to first in time. And a quick out number one. Now the second base. And up next for San Francisco, Tommy Listella. And he's already singled in this game. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Bullpen activity starting up now. Giovanni Gallegos up and throwing. Cabrera warming up as well. A one down. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The throw to first, and a couple of quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground, right side. Edmund gloves it. Over to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Cardinals two, and the Giants one. Bottom of the inning, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Ozzie Smith. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Left-hand batter waits. Line drive, base hit right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Bunting, and he pops it up. And there's one down. The right fielder, number eight, Michael Lee. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Michael Lee. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And a foul ball left side. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. 
Smith over at first with one away. Next offering is down low. And the count is one and one. Ball to strike. That one missed. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, the two one hammered, but foul. And a pitch. Run around the goal. Out to short. Sends it across the first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Number exactly what he was supposed to do. Stand. And here's the first baseman, Stan Musial. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. No, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Two on, two outs. Stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. Owen oh Chu now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Chopped left side. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. That one misses. One and two to count. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And the righty deals. And now two and two. Got him. And that ends the inning. So the cards strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Genesis Cabrera taking them out, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 92, Genesis Cabrera. We go to the eighth, and now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And here it comes. Ball one, no strikes. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Gerald Vaughn appears to be getting loose.
on the ground right side dives but it kicks off his glove he doesn't have a play and they don't get the out no outs runner at first and up next for the Giants Kurt Casale and he swings and misses and it's nothing in one if you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Here comes a pitch. And that one is in for a strike. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. In the dirt, blocked to second, and he's out. Next pitch is outside. One out to right. Lee settles underneath it. And that quickly two away. Now batting. Left field. Monte Irvin. So digging in, Monty Irvin. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. The lefty, the 1-0. -oh. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Here's a 1-1. That misses the zone, and it's 2-1. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. The tying run at the plate. That one hammered center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. <laughs> Out to the bottom of the eighth at the plate. Yadier Molina. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. And he'll one. That one pushed foul. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. The batter. The designated hitter. Paul Goldsmith. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 0. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two.
The next pitch misses. Ball three. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Out towards left center. And that chance handled by Willie Mays. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And there's two down. This is Dylan Carlson. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. The one two. And the one two misses to even the count. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Two two. Good eye right there. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. And that's going to get into the corner. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And yeah, the batter now, Tyler O'Neill. Tyler in there and it's 0 and 1. Next offering is foul back. Hits the dirt now. One and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Inning over. The cards leave one. They lead it two one. Now on the bump, Gerald Vaughn trying to protect this lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the number two hitter, Evan Longoria. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Mm -hmm. 
And a pitch. There's a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. At the belt and fires. That's through there for a strike. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looking. And that's the first out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And up next for San Francisco, Willie Mays. And that's in there for strike one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Edge of the zone for a strike, and a count one and two. And now it's one and two. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The first baseman, number 44, William McCutcheon. And now the first baseman, Willie McCovey. In there for strike one. Kick and deals. Oh, that's out. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Ball checks the runner. Mays back in on a dive. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals, stays alive. And a pitch. Out there to center. Squeezes it. Two away down. The battle. The designated hitter, Orlando Sepulveda. Next will be the Giants' DH, Orlando Sepulveda. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Mays off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. 
Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Check on the runner. Mays back on a dive. Two outs. Stays alive. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. What a tight two-run ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. the Giants one run five hits no errors they left five men on base time of the ball game two hours and 40 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely Yeah. <laughs>